Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make a concept castle designed by Shad from the Shad Diversity YouTube channel, the Honor Guard. So in order to make the white castle, we will need a white clay as well. This is a 2 kilogram package I have bought from Amazon. Uh, it is a modeling clay uh, which was enough for me to finish this project. And I even had some leftovers after that. And I will link the product in the description as well. So my base as usually is going to be this ceramic plate which is uh, like a specifically perfect size for my project. Uh, and I start by uh, making the markings in the places where the uh, main uh, pieces of the walls are going to be, uh, I mean the towers uh, for them. Uh, those markings are quite important for you to kind of uh, understand what scale you are working with and at the same time to make the uh, similar uh, distances in between these um, different Towers. Speaking of towers, so this is the uh, main uh, base for the most common tower, which is the wall tower. This is the smallest piece as well, uh, but pretty much every design follows this uh, simple shape and they are only differing in sizes. And here you can see the wall shape as well. These walls and the tower have uh, kind of a widened uh, base. Uh, for the bottom part. Uh, for the walls you can see it as well. Uh, there is some kind of a border in the middle, a little bit lower than middle to be honest. And it is because the wall is quite heavy so you don't want it to be sinking in the ground. So by widening the base you are spreading the load on the larger area of the ground. So that way you won't be um, ch challenged by that problem. Uh, if you are not working with a rocky surface. So right now we are going to create the crenels for the walls and the towers um, and for the castle as well. So if you are not uh, very familiar with uh, the castle design, you might not know what they are. Uh, crenels are those uh, bumps on the top of the walls uh, which protect archers and other um, s soldiers who are standing and protecting the wall. In the perfect world and in ancient world, uh, they were human-sized. I mean, they were covering the whole uh, body uh, in the height. Uh, and uh, these slits, these cotton pieces, uh, which I'm creating right now, served as the places where the archers could lean and shoot their arrows, then get back uh, behind these crenels in order to be safe uh, from incoming projectiles, arrows and debris and stuff. Uh, so it is uh, quite easy to create this way, to cut it out like this and then using some kind of sharp knife. Uh, for me, I'm using this kidney uh, steel thingy. I even now do not know what to call this one. It is quite satisfying to work at this scale with this soft clay uh, to like clean all this uh, extra parts off the crenels, so to say. And crenels are not the only uh, unusual parts for the walls. I won't be doing the... Uh, I won't be doing justice to Shad's design if I would not be creating the machiculations, which are open parts um, on the walls, which look down uh, to the ground and allow the soldiers to kind of have the holes from which they can shoot down on the ground as well. Now, to make this effect, I'm using this kind of small tiny pieces of clay rods and uh, putting them against the crenels. So, and you can see on, on this uh, example of tower, this creates these nice holes on the ground of the tower uh, where archers will be able to uh, put their bows and arrows and shoot any opponents who get too close to the wall. Here you can see uh, my base uh, already filled out uh, with uh, basic uh, towers. The wall towers, uh, also the castle towers which are a little bit longer than they are. 
This is the front part of the castle towers, and there is the uh, like back part, back portion of it, which is even longer than the uh, pretty much the longest of towers. If you we do not take into the consideration the main tower, which is even thicker in the design. Here you can see the work in progress, so to say. I have added the crenellations with machiculations to the walls themselves and put them uh, in between these towers. Uh, not in every space, as you can see, the entrance is still to be done. At the same time, I have started making the uh, castle main body, so to say. It will be really hard to make these shapes uh, work. Uh, if you have seen Shad's video or the beginning of mine, uh, you kind of understand how complex the castle body is going to be. So it is really quite complicated. And this is the main body of the largest tower for the castle, of course. So uh, to conserve clay, uh, you can use some kind of uh, filling material. Uh, for this one, as you can see, uh, the back uh, there, there is a empty paint box which I have uh, put and then wrapped around with clay so I can conserve some kind of white clay in making the main body of the castle which is going to be bulkier um, nonetheless. So I do not want it to kind of spend a lot of uh, clay on that. Uh, at the same time, you will need to fill out the gaps. Of course, when you start attaching walls to the towers, you will have like tiny gaps. Uh, you can Simply put the tubes of clay on it and using the rubber tools, blend it together and you will get this like uh, look without separation and it, it really looks uh, much nicer and at the same time realistic uh, to the uh, castle designs and for this instance to the honor guard of course. Uh, here you can see I have even proceeded and made the entrance and uh, pretty much finish the, the main body of the castle. Yet again, it was quite difficult, but I will get you, get, give you some hint. Uh, in order to get these um, sharp corners and square shapes, uh, uh, as you have seen, the clay, it, is, it comes as a, one big slob block of clay. So you can use uh, the kidney tool or maybe a knife and cut it instead of shaping it into these um, cornered pieces. It will conserve a lot of time and energy because making these uh, sharp corners and symmetrical corners is a really tough task. And at the same time, you will have to work quite closely to these gaps you can see there with the uh, largest tower and the uh, tower of the castle. Uh, where you have to blend it like inside that, um, blend the main body of the castle to make the walls appear straight and nice looking, so to say. Here you can see a pretty much finished version of the wall. Mm, I mean the uh, walls, towers, the ladders you can see are finished. I have also added the uh, back support, I mean uh, mm, the wooden bulks to the other side of the wall, uh, which protects uh, soldiers from falling off the wall. Of course, it is a large, uh, large construction. And in the heat of a battle, uh, of course, anyone can fall off if it is not protected with some kind of offense. Um, and uh, the contrast between the uh, wooden color and the white gives you this nice look. Also, I have finished the castle. Uh, more or less and right now uh, we will need to paint uh, the surface of the outside portion of course and inside uh, as well. I'm using this simple uh, green paint, uh, nothing else, because the original uh, yellowish white color serves as a more or less nice ground for me and I will uh, be using this uh, small uh, bumpy movements uh, to simulate the grass irregularities. If you start to blend it and go traditional movements on the uh, on the surface, it won't look as aesthetic, in my opinion, at least. Uh, this kind of bumpy uh, style is the best I came up with to get this uh, 
kind of um, color of grass. I wanted to add some uh, trees as well, uh, but then I thought it, it, uh, they were not uh, in the uh, Shad's model. At the same time, I was like thinking uh, castle space is quite uh, expensive, uh, if you know what I mean. It is quite uh, uh, small and you need to cram uh, many things inside. So I don't think that anyone will be able to afford a tree being there instead of maybe a barn or some kind of storage. And at the same time, if I had added a tree outside of the castle, uh, the only ground I have left outside is very near to the walls and trees outside most likely will be chopped off unless they were they would have been a nice uh, half ladder for enemies to climb up and maybe shoot from or make some kind of additions to make some kind of a bridge to uh, breach the wall. At the same time you can see I'm uh, like uh, not covering some places where the road is going to be and at the same time I will be much more gentle inside and not add as much grass as it would have been stripped off by foot of soldiers and horses. Here I'm going to review the uh, small details, uh, houses and other pieces which I'm going to add to the inside portion of the castle. The main notable thing is this uh, horse stadium. I really do not know what the name of it is, but the purpose uh, it is for uh, knights, which are challenging it each other. They are running uh, to each other with the hor horses and the spears in their hands. And the purpose of the challenge is to make your, op your opponent lose balance and uh, fall off from the horse or uh, in the uh, rare occasions kill them. Um, this is the simple, uh, simple uh, stair slash chairs for the uh, spectators um, for, of the challenge. And this is the simple houses I have made from the white clay again. Uh, then I have used this brown in order to simulate the wooden bulks uh, going through the house and supporting its um, structural strength. And also have used this black slash gray colored clay in order to make the roofs. So initially I was uh, considering using the red clay in order to make the um, roofs. But then I have decided that the contrast between the uh, brown, uh, brown of the woods and red of the roof won't be as uh, beautiful, so to say, as it is right now, uh, contrasting with the castle walls. And here is the finished version of my castle, of Shad's castle, of course, it is the, my reproduction of it in uh, real life, so to say. I'm really happy with this one. I'm really uh, quite pleased to have Shad's uh, acceptance uh, on making this uh, project for my channel. Uh, I'm really a very big fan of this model, of this design of his. Uh, it is, uh, as he has uh, stated, it is kind of uh, realistic slash fantasy-like. And yeah, the shape of walls and the castle itself, especially the castle. At the same time, the placing of uh, various details uh, really feel uh, quite neat and um, cozy, to, uh, to be honest. <laughs> you, uh, I, at least, really wanted to live inside this castle and also i uh, the thing i was talking about in the painting section as you can see the grass is not as uh, dense inside because people will be uh, moving in and out the horses will be uh, like tramping the ground and grass won't be as dense and at the same time i have made some kind of uh, roads uh, connecting the gateway of the walls into the main entrance for the castle where the largest movement is going to be. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this model as much as I enjoyed making it. It was quite tough and time consuming but at the same time the end result was more than worth it for me at least. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.